I welcome you to uh, the Meza channel. We are an end time channel. We look at events and we alert you about the coming uh, kingdom of the Messiah. For those of you who watch this channel, uh, you are blessed because the things that we say on the channel are prophetic, they are true, they may not make sense to you personally, uh, logically, but they are prophetic and we speak under the inspiration of the Almighty. Um, I had uh, a question from a comment. One of the members asked me a comment, uh, asked me a question in the comment. Um, the question is, how long after the rapture will be the establishment of the millennial kingdom of the Messiah? Uh, so, and I said that I would do a video on the millennial kingdom. Um, I believe that uh, the Lord will not waste uh, time at all in establishing um, his kingdom. And I believe that uh, the millennial kingdom uh, will be established immediately uh, when the Lord appears. Revelation 1 verse 7, Behold, he comes with the clouds, and all eyes will see him, including those who pierced him, and all the tribes, all the nations of the world will mourn because of his appearance. They will weep when they see him coming in the clouds of heaven. Uh, for those who have racial prejudice, you will cry, you weep when you see the Messiah coming. If you expected to see the Messiah in a different skin color, and he comes in another skin color that you don't like, I believe that uh, you also will mourn. If you had blasphemed the name of the Lord, you will mourn when you see him appearing on the clouds of heaven, as the angels promised in Acts chapter 1 verse 11, and as the Lord himself promised in Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. So we are looking at the millennial kingdom. Uh, it's a thousand year reign of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, and certain prophetic things will happen. The promises the Lord made to his people will be fulfilled during the millennial kingdom that is happening. The first promise is the promise of the land. The Lord, the sovereign God, the creator of the universe promised Abraham that his descendants will inherit a piece of land. And the land is delineated. Uh, presently, the land is not occupied by his people. Even though some people claim that they are occupying the land, um, only a small part of the land is occupied by the people who are parties to the covenant, the covenant that God had with Abraham. In the millennial kingdom, the children of Jacob, the sons of Abraham, who possess their possession. They will be taken from wherever they are to possess the land. So there is a land possession that will take place 
during the millennial reign of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The second um, covenant is spiritual covenant. Jeremiah 31 verse 31. And the prophet Jeremiah is saying that there will be a new covenant. Uh, the first covenant was written on tablets, on stone. And the second covenant will be written on the hearts of people. And so from the hearts of God's chosen people, they will know who their father is and they will not be disobedient. They will know the laws from their hearts. So it will be a spiritual renewal, a spiritual covenant, different from the old covenant written on stone. This new covenant will be written on the hearts of people as prophesied by the prophet Jeremiah in Jeremiah 31 verse 30, uh, Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31 to 32. Um, there is also the hope that the sins of the Lord, um, uh, our Messiah, uh, they will reign with the Messiah. Um, we're talking about what the Apostle Paul told the people in Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, Second uh, Thessalonians chapter two verse twelve: The saints of the Lord will reign with Yeshua Jesus Christ. You always remember that the Lord will redeem the saints. Salvation is for the Hebrews and the Gentiles. The Gentiles that believe. You know, our Lord and Savior. In fact, um, if you read uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, and uh, the Lord is saying that the Messiah will gather the scattered children uh, of Jacob from all the four corners of the earth, and he, the Messiah, will be an ensign to the Gentiles, and the Lord will reign. In the millennial kingdom and the saints will reign with him and the book of revelation chapter 2 2 verse 26 and 27 um there are people who will inherit the earth the saints of the lord the chosen people of the lord will inherit the earth from antarctica to America, to Africa. The chosen people of the Lord will inherit the earth. At this time, there are some people who are living on the earth and they are so arrogant that they think the earth belongs to them. They are making laws to control how we deal with the environment. They are making laws to control how many children you can have. They are making laws even to control the food that you eat and the carbon that you breathe. They are so arrogant that they think there's no God. They think God is dead. But the millennial kingdom is coming and those people who will inherit the earth will inherit it and those people who don't have any business living on this earth they will be destroyed the lord will destroy them in the millennial kingdom the lord also deal with the nations there will be peace in the world nations will no longer fight against other nation because the messiah who is coming to reign in the millennial kingdom is the prince 
of peace. The United Nations will try as much as possible to bring peace. The Abraham Accord will attempt to bring harmony between the Arabs and Israel, but still there wouldn't be any peace. There will be security guarantees. There will be nuclear talks between Russia and America, but there wouldn't be any peace because it's decreed that until the Messiah comes to rule in the Millennial Kingdom, there wouldn't be any peace at all. The Messiah is coming, and when it comes to rule in the Millennial Kingdom, righteousness will prevail. We are living in the world where people call good evil, and they call evil good. And Isaiah chapter 5, 20 tells them, Woe unto those who call evil good, and they call good evil. We are living in the world where people are championing the right to have sex with animals. They are championing, championing the right to have sex with minors, to have sex with trees. The time is coming in the Millennial Kingdom where there will be righteousness. And those who are not fit to live on the earth will be destroyed. The Millennial Kingdom will be an actual kingdom. The headquarters will be in Jerusalem. You remember in Luke chapter 1, verse 32 and 33, the angel Gabriel um, prophesied that the Messiah is coming. The Messiah who was born, um, he will come again. And the Messiah will sit on the throne of his father, David. It will be an actual throne in Jerusalem. The throne of David will be inherited by Yeshua, the Messiah, when it comes to reign in the Millennial Kingdom for 1,000 years. And if you read Daniel chapter 7, verse 14, we know that the kingdom will be everlasting. It will be everlasting. And if you read Revelation chapter 11, verse 15, you notice that when the seventh angel sounded the trumpet, the Apostle John heard voices in heaven saying that now the kingdoms of heaven and the kingdoms on the earth have become the kingdom of Christ and he will reign forever and ever. And so if you hear this message, you know that the millennial kingdom is coming. And I hope that some of you watching this channel, you play key roles in the Millennial Kingdom as priests, as kings and queens, as ambassadors. You will help the Messiah to rule this world, and he is going to rule the world with a rod of iron. A rod of iron. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He wouldn't be playing around. The Messiah Kingdom is coming very soon. And it will not be long when the kingdom is established. And so to answer the question, how long will it take after the rapture for the Millennial Kingdom to be established? I would say that not long. The Messiah will not waste time. Satan will be bound during the millennial kingdom. 
the principal architect of evil, the father of all lies, the man who gives inspiration to the agents of this world, gives inspiration to the agents in this world, the agents of evil in this world, uh, he will be bound by an angel. One angel of the Lord will bound Lucifer and chain him during the time when the Messiah comes to rule this world in the Millennial Kingdom. Thank you for listening uh, to this message. My email address is raptureafrica at yahoo.com and I appreciate your comments because I'll get a lot of inspiration and insights from the comments that you make. Don't shy to put your comments down. Thank you for this message.